Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. Okay, so this is our next video. So today we are going to create Dino Jump game in the Scratch. Okay, so let's start. So first I will run this project. I will show you. You have to just press your up arrow and uh, right arrow to run this game. Okay. Like that. So here you uh, will get a score also. Okay. So now we will see how we will create this game. Okay. So let's start. Again, we will take file, new project. So once you will click on the new project, you will get new window for you. So first we will delete this card now. So first you have to add one backdrop. So we can add any backdrop. So I will take one simple backdrop, which is blue sky too. So now you have to add one dino and one tree, okay? So you need to just click on this choose a sprite, which is this symbol, click on that. Now, if you will search for dino, you will get one, two, three, four, five. So according to our choice, we can select that. So suppose I want this one. So just you need to click on that, okay? You can place the dino here. After that, we will require the tree. So again, search for your sprite, search for the tree, okay? You will get two trees, four strands again. Suppose I want this one, okay? So we have a two sprite here, dino and trees, okay? So this is your design part. So here we added one backdrop and two sprite. First sprite is the dino, second one is the tree. Suppose if you want to minimize the size of the dino. So here, as you can see, the size is 100%. So we will make it as 50, okay, for the tree. And for dino also, we have to make the size as 50, okay. Now we have uh, the correct size for the dino and for the tree. Now we will start a coding, okay. So first thing, we will start from dino, okay. So it means you need to just click on the dino, okay. Suppose you want to do the scripting for the dino, so you have to first click on the dino, okay. Now from where we will start? So in previous video also, I told you that like a, you have to start from the event always, okay. So here what I will do when flag is clicked, okay, means when I will click on this red button, I want to show the dino, okay. So where you will get a show block inside the loops. So once we will scroll down, you will get a slow show block, okay. So just drag and drop. After that, which position we want for the dino? So suppose I want this position and what is the value? In x-axis, minus 194 and in y-axis, it is minus 102, okay? So uh, you need to just go to this motion, drag and drop this. Okay, so what will happen? You will get the fixed position for this dino, okay? Now, we have to create a score, okay? Score means you have to increase your scores. So how we will create a score variable? So score is our variable. And first thing, uh, why we are using the variable? To store anything, okay? Variable is just like a container, okay? So in that container, we can store anything. You can store the score. So how we will create a score? We need to just look on this variable. So you will get one block, which is make a variable. So click on that, write down your variable name score. And always you need to check first one for all the sprites. 
So this score will visible to your all these spreads. Okay. Now click on just OK button. You will get one variable score. Okay. So now uh, initially we will set our score to zero. So you need to just set score instead of my variable. So we created a variable as a score. So just click on that. You, uh, you will get score variable. So now we will start our variable with the score zero. Okay. After that, how many lives we want for dino? We have to set that one also. Okay. So again, we need to create one variable. So the variable name is lives. Okay. Again, you will get one variable. So again, we have to set the lives to instead of zero, we will make it one. Means initially we have one lives. If you will click on the run, here you will get one. And suppose if you will take this dino here, if you will run, you will get the fixed position for your dino. Okay. After that, so uh, this is our basic block for the dino. Okay. So now come to your tree. We will do some coding here also. Okay. So for the tree, we will start again from the event. Okay. So uh, for the tree, we will again start from our event. So when flag is clicked. So we want to show the tree. Okay. So we need to just click on the looks and uh, we will get show block here. After that, what position we want for the tree. Okay. So suppose I want this position. So here in the x-axis, we have a triple two. In the y-axis, we have minus one point two. Okay. So we need to just go to the motion and uh, we will take this block. Okay. Like a go to in x position, uh, we want this triple to y position this way. After that, we want uh, like uh, the tree will come continuously. So continuously means we have to go to control we will take this forever always we want uh, when we want anything on a continue manner so for that we have to take this forever okay so now we will check like if your dino lives is one so what will happen we have to glide means we have to run okay so again uh, we have to take this if condition okay if means you have to check some condition here, okay? So, if. So, now we will go to this operator. We will take this one here. Means if your dino lives, so where you will get your lives? Inside your variable, take this. So, if this lives is equal to one, why? Because initially in this, we uh, took as a one, okay? So if the dino lives is one, so what will happen? We have to glide. Glide means we have to change the position, okay? Suppose we will change the position, but what position we want? We want like a tree will move here, okay? So what is this position? Minus 214, minus 115. So we will take minus 214, minus 115 okay so again if you will run c okay so now we will take our tree here so this is the meaning of glide means we have to change the position okay means from one position to another after that again what position we want for the tree okay so again, we want the same position of the tree, like a go to this position. Okay, means now the tree will come here. So again, we want the tree uh, start from here. Okay, so again, we will take this position, not this way. Okay, after that, we will broadcast one message. Why? Because the dinosaur will receive that message. So from where we will broadcast? Inside your event, you will get broadcast, okay? So we will broadcast score here. 
S C O R E score. Okay. So in the dinosaur, we will receive this score. Okay. Now we will hide. So in the looks, we will get that. So just scroll down. You will get a hide block. Hide means we have to hide our tree. Okay. Now we have a, some costume. Costume means suppose if you will click on the tree. Look on the costume, you will get two costumes here. Okay, for first costume, as you can see, after that, uh, this is the second costume for the tree. Okay, so what will happen? We have to take a costume. How you will uh, switch the costume? Okay, so inside the looks, we will get one switch costume block. See this one. Okay, so this is our switch costume okay see but here what we want we have only two costume so your first costume is a your second costume is the b so we can take any costume from here and we have to wait for some second, okay? So again, where you will get your wait block inside the control. So uh, how much second we want to wait? So for that, we will take one random value. So where you will get your random, pick random. And uh, how much second we want? Uh, we can take like a randomly from zero to two second, okay? After that, we will show this block again. Means it will wait for 0 to 2 second randomly. Then we will show this block. Okay. So this is our coding for the tree. Okay. Now again, come to the dinosaur. Okay. So in the dino, now when we will click on the up arrow, so what will happen? Okay. Because uh, once we will click on the up arrow, we want dino uh, like a move, okay? So uh, again, you have to att attach the event. So instead of this space key pressed, if you will click on that, we will get the up arrow. Means when we will press the up arrow, so what will happen? Again, we will check the condition, whether you have your uh, dino legs or not, okay? So now if your dino lives is one so what will happen again you have to go to operator take this so uh, where is our lives inside the variable so instead of 15 now we will check by one because we have one here okay so again we have to glide the dino now we will glide the dino okay so take glide but what position we want for the dino glide? We want this position like this and this, right? So what will happen? Instead of waiting one second, we will wait for a 0 0.15 second, means little wait, okay? 0.15, okay? And what position we want? Suppose, what is this position? Okay, what is this position? So you have to write that position over here, okay? Suppose I want like a minus 162 and here we want only 50, okay? And after waiting some second, again, uh, like a, we want the down position for the dino. So instead of taking one second, again, we will wait only for 0 0.15 second. And again, we will glide the dino, okay? So just duplicate this. And now we will remove this. So as you can see this position, if you will press the up arrow, you will get the dino, see? Okay, after that, we have to do only one thing. When, because see, here we broadcast score. Now here we will receive that score, okay? So again, you need to go to event. 
when we will receive the score, what will happen? We have to change our score by one. Every time we have to change. If you want, uh, we can change by two also. We can change by three also. So according to our choice, we have to just change our score. Okay. So uh, now we will run this project. Okay. Now it's time to test our project. Okay. Okay. How the dino is jumping. Okay. So in this way, uh, we can create our dino trend project. Okay. So after that, if you want to rename your project, we can rename that. So we can run, we can write a name dino jump. Okay. And uh, even you can share your project with any one of you. Like I suppose you need to just click on copy the link. Just copy your project from here and share with anyone. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Okay. Thank you so much.